All right, so there's another life in the double shave. I need to get shave my head. It's, it's well needed. It gets this long. I can't stand it. I mean, I really have a full head of hair still. I mean, it's receding a little bit, but I just can't. I just I've not had hair now for I don't know, many years now. I say 10, 15 years just shaving my own head. Just thinking the money you save on that, even. You can just get your head shaved. It used to be 20 bucks. I can imagine what it is now. So, we're going to do a double shave. Uh, spring is not here, unfortunately. We are in... This has been one of the wettest... Um, marches that we've had here in Rhode Island. Um, it just, just rains just about. It's actually pouring rain out there today. And unfortunately, I have... Uh, two sump pumps in my basement that run through a whole cycle from they run from they start kicking out in about October and now they go all the way till July and then I get a little bit of a break where it just it just stops I have some sort of a um, some kind of a spring under under this foundation as soon as they put it in, there was water, and it's just never going away. I had to get two. I put in, I put in two pumps. Got one way and the other one end. It goes out the other house, out the back end, and there's one that's closer. And there's so many places here in Rhode Island, as well as everywhere. That just floods now, so people gotta understand that it's only gonna get worse. I think water is a big problem. I think going forward in the future, you can see anybody lives by the coast or they may they may have a few more years. I still think 2025 something's gonna change, but we'll see. I could be wrong, but yeah, flooding. We're not in a. I'm not in a flood zone at all. I'm not on top of a small hill. So it's not like we're going to flood, but my basement would. Uh, if I didn't have that pump running 24-7, I'd have, it'd be just a swimming pool downstairs. I have so much fun stuff down there. And it makes it damp, and it's a, it's a pain. But this summer, I'm going to upgrade my pumps. And anybody else that's out there in the... That's what they should be doing. If you don't have a sump pump in your basement, I put one in. Because to me, the rains. Climate change is bringing a lot more rain. What do they call those? The, the asp, uh, atmospheric rivers? Did I say asp? Those, those, uh, California gets a lot now. You're starting to see a lot of, of hurricane type stuff in California. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Weather's well, crazy. Could I have a mass recycle this summer to do? I think it's going to be massive. I have so much stuff that's built up. And it's just pieces, parts that are left over from gaming systems. Because if you're going to sell gaming parts, you have to have, first you have to have a lot of systems and a lot of stuff. And I've amassed a lot of stuff. But then when you stop picking away at that stuff, or even one system, you're left with more stuff. You know, and a lot of it's the, like the empty metal cases. So those, so I can recycle those. I got some things going on my nose I don't like. Uh, so first I gotta set up some staging areas. Ooh, I think I talked about the last time. I started working on it, but then it just got cold and it's been raining since then. So as soon as I get my staging areas up, then we'll start moving stuff into certain piles. I'd consider trying to use like 1-800-GET-JUNK, GOT JUNK, because that's how much stuff I really have. No place to put a dumpster, so I can't do that. Or it's just one truckload at a time to the dump. Metal first, because that doesn't cost. That's probably what I'm doing because I can't really afford to 1 800 junk. They probably charge me all kinds of. But it would be easy to just. They say you can just point what you don't want and they'll take it away. 
That would be freaking awesome. Because again, I have some massive piles out there. But again, it's just mostly plastic and, and metal. There's nothing really. All the electronic stuff that's so good. Oh, I haven't used this, this in the house, so that's not a big deal. But once I get some of the, I've got like a back storage area that I'm gonna make into some kind of a studio. Not now, probably not for another couple of years. Oh, so well, maybe. Well, I like doing everything in my room because I'm also a caretaker, so I like to see all my animals. So I like to keep an eye on everything that's going on. I don't want to be. I'm not gonna make a. A studio down in my basement, easy. But I won't do that because I'm uh, I don't need to be isolated from way down there. So that way I'm right. I moved right in the middle of the house so I can keep an eye on everything. And it's, it's doable. It's just right now it's just it's packed with so much stuff. Even all the stuff back there I gotta get rid of. I, I blocked that window back there so it looks like a mess, but I just gotta. That window is like the worst window ever. For the winter, all those clothes back to there. I hardly ever wear pants or anything like that. So just sweatpants is basically I live in. I work and live in sweatpants and sweatshirts. Yeah, not really much. I can't remember the last time I actually wore physical pants. That's the fun of working from home. You really don't need to. Right, I go to the store once in a while. I get my iced coffee in the morning, but it's always in sweatpants and a sweatshirt. It just works for me. Try to clean up that back area right behind me there. Nice clock over here, too. This clock is pretty cool. I got that. Someone left it out on the side of the road. So, what is it? It's called the Tempest. The Thomas. What is that called? Thomas what? It's worth a few bucks. Thomas something. I can't see it. But that clock is cool. Let's see it back there. Over here. Yeah, you can see it. So, yeah. So, this, this needs to be cleaned. This bathroom needs to be cleaned up. So, I gotta get rid First, I gotta get rid of all the stuff outside. And then it'll give me some storage <laughs> to start bringing some stuff that's in my room or out. I gotta dig out of that. <laughs> but I got lots of fun stuff to do. So I always make sure, just about done, no more computers or anything, I got enough stuff to play around with now for the next, well, my job, the next 20 years or whatever, I mean I'll buy some more gaming stuff to sell parts off of, but even that I've really cut back out, uh, just kind of kind of have to save, as a caretaker you know, only you have to get yourself set up in case something happens and you all of a sudden you're on your own. So that's what I'm kind of doing, I'm trying to do right now. Building the, my eBay store, my Etsy store. Working on YouTube and TikTok. So I have something to do that I'm doing it on my own. It should be sooner than later. I'm not really sure on that. Yeah, but, oh, so we got my... my uh, got these yesterday. So April 8th is my birthday. I'll be 56. Never thought I'd make it to 56, but here we are. And actually feeling pretty good at 56, so. Very peaceful. Lots of fun stuff to do. So we'll take some videos of those. So that's what my sunglasses look like. It's pretty cool, huh? Got them in the local library for free. I don't know how you keep it on your head though, because it doesn't really stay on there too good. I'm going to take a little bit of video. We, we're not really in the path of the uh, solar panels. I mean the solar panels. I always say that. Solar clips. But we'll see if we can just see that. Go from day to, to night for a few minutes. And then back to day. And I believe this is the last solar eclipse of at least my lifetime. I can't remember what the next one is. In 45 years or something. So. And it's awesome. It's right on my birthday too. Which is pretty cool. So. So I like these because it actually has that and it has my birthday on it which is pretty cool so that'll be fun all right so i use this for uh, to catch my hair a little bit and just because it looks really silly got this from timu so it's supposed to be a hair catcher so so it's 
very, very silly, but kind of works. Kind of. I need three. I need this, this. So I'm looking forward to some warm weather. We have a couple of days of it. But nothing that's even close to spring yet. Spending my whole summer outside in the backyard. That's really my only main focus this summer is to look at that. And then of course all my other fun stuff. So I've been working on, I haven't done anything with computers, vintage computers. I got a lot of them to go through. AI, I really keep an eye on it, but it's nothing really. You can't really interact with it too much, or other than get a chat GPT. Actually, I haven't even done any of that. Just get it for a little bit. I want to learn how to make some programs. I'm hoping, like I said, that, that somehow you'll end up getting your own personal AI. Or at least help me with my eBay and stuff. Help me do listings. Or at least fix them. Whatever. The only thing you can do right now with chat, I mean, with eBay and AI is take out the background. But it's not really what I want. I don't want the background to come my little area where I took all my pictures and everything. You need to help me crop. Maybe it'll be some sort of a scan or something I can use to have it scan it. Well, I'm sure the potential is going to be unlimited for someone like me with working on your own. Having a personal assistant that you don't have to pay for. <laughs> It's just like starting over fresh, getting all that yucky. I'm gonna shower all the time. It's just, just, it's so much cleaner. And you go down the scalp, see where you got that white thing on there. So obviously, that's some sort of candle thing going on. And instead of trying to shampoo it to death, just take it out. Right? If that makes more sense. So many different. Shampoo products, and face products, and all that silly stuff. I think I learned as I get older here, but I'm not into vanity or looks or any of that at all. Just like to keep my mind sharp, learning new things. I'm like a sponge, 56. Learning all those things I didn't know I could have learned when I was younger. Distracted. That silly stuff. I'll just go back and have fun with it all. I've built my room into like a little time machine now. So I can look at all the old computers and stuff and kind of get any upgrade that was ever made. If I can find them. And like I said, right now I'm just playing play a little bit of gaming. Stardew Valley is one of the playing. Well, actually, I don't put in my day. But that's a lot for me. I gave up my Series X, sold out. Gave my PS5. Now I'm not doing any more upgrades until 2025. And so I'll see what's going on in 2025. Piece, some sort of a PS5 Pro, and then I believe Xbox will be something significantly new is coming out. Same with Nintendo. I've got the the back Sarah now, which is still not working yet. I've got most of the Nintendo Switch games on that. I figure how to get to work. So I believe Nintendo has the Nintendo NX is coming out. I'm not sure what that is. So 
you'll see some significant, especially with AI, everything game-wise should be significantly different. Games that can just reprogram itself. Right? I think you like play the game and then you wake up in the morning and there'll be a new game. Or like a, a new, a new, a new uh, mission. Self-making game, right? And all the games like uh, Until Dawn and all those. Those would be significantly better. Because you really interact more than you really could up until now. Those are fun games, but you can only interact so much. You have so many choices. I like that campground game, I can't think of it now. That's a fun game. Yeah, see all that wood? You got this stuff to keep. Now I can just shoot it out of there. Yeah, because I've been doing this for so long now. I'm kind of like mowing the lawn. Just kind of going on with my face here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Still, still going good? Yeah. It's kind of a little better. I'm going to put that camera there. I use this, I use a Samsung phone, an S20, I want to get a new one, they're really, real expensive, the S24, you're almost better now, to kind of like sit back, use electronics you have, wait a couple of years till, you know, AI really interacts with all your stuff. Try it. Just upgrading the one I have right now. I've got a HP Elite Desk G3, G4, and G6. It's a little bit lost in here because it's a small desk, small phone on my desk. So, and G6. Right now I have 48 gigabytes because I messed up on the desktop 32 gigabytes. I'm going to upgrade that to 64. Because again, you're going to need at least 64 gigabytes to use as your memory to do anything in the future. Uh, yeah, I'm not just a matter of going back here and finding all the little patches I missed. You can just see all that yucky stuff coming out. Just needs to be. Yeah, I could have a full head of hair. Oh, I couldn't imagine that. And I don't want facial hair at all. Someone had comment about keeping facial hair. But I have like a hairless body. So I've, I've never had a mustache or anything silly like that. It just doesn't work on my face. Couldn't do it anywhere, really. politics at all because I really don't have much to say about it. I'm not a voter or anything like that. It doesn't really make any sense to vote for at all actually. It's gonna go where it goes. I wish we had a third option but we don't. I kind of just think something's gonna change. Change. You know, it's called the New World Order or something. I don't know, man. Just see. The path of our eyes, no, I could go now. My world's been going crazier and crazier, especially out in the mid east there, and Russia and all that. Oh. Someone's going to do something soon. <laughs> Point now that I just do it already. 
Computers, qubits. That's, it, that's the word of the day, qubits. Yeah. So quantum computers are supposed to turn. Oh, I missed that big spot right there. We do the internet into like a million times faster. So quantum computers is interesting. I don't know anything about it. I've just been kind of reading about it. And you got Wi-Fi 7. You got 6G coming out. So there's all things to look for. But there's a concept, if you see it, um, of we're living in a a virtual reality ourselves. That kind, of, that kind of really makes sense to me. That's why you can see, like, once in a while you'll see a, a phenomenon that can't figure out where it's coming from. It's because it's just something that comes in, checks out what we're doing, and leaves. Because... I tell you what, though, if I had this world as a sin, I would not be happy with my sin. I'd be terrible. I'd be so disappointed. Just chaos and craziness. And just, I would just push start over. A big fan. Just a big fan of starting over. Something. I'm getting more of that. Obviously, not getting better. I'm close. I hardly ever watch the news, I try not to. But, I don't know. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but I hope we'll get something different. Could be dramatically different. Life as we know it could be different, but I don't know. I was keeping an eye on, they were talking about hiring astronauts. I wanted to apply because I'd like to get the one week ticket to Mars. But you're going to die somewhere. You might as well go die trying to terraform a new planet, right? Isn't that be fun? But you have, to, you have to have all these. It's just like a one way ticket. You've got to be really smart and you've got to do all this athletic stuff. But technically, you're just sitting in a ship. To get to where you're gonna go, and then you get dropped off. So, why do you need all that exercise and running around and all that silly stuff for? What would be the purpose of that? Just get someone to willing to go. <laughs> start there. You know? Maybe they should start taking our DNA and shooting it out into space. It's not really doing that anyway. You know, instead of cremating somebody, just throw them on a ship and. Send it on its way and see, and see what happens. Maybe somebody will find it. Maybe they can bring that person back to life. <laughs> this kind of silly stuff, I think. I'm going to make a book about that, actually. I'm just going to call it The Journeyman. About... Sh about uh, People that volunteer to be sent out into space to try to get as far as they can. And then they set up the base wherever they're at. And then in a few years, the next person goes, reaches that destination, and uses all those resources to go to the next step. And it's just kind of like a continuing chain. But of course, the person that volunteers to do that is it's their one-way ticket. They get as far as they can, they live as long as they can, or they have the option to, you know, to not live, you know, like a pill or something, just to pass away to wherever you are. Once you get everything set up, you know, get the thing. Alright, so, uh, my brain's always thinking about stuff. 
I was going to shave with my glasses on, but I can't see anything, obviously. Can't see, actually, you can't see anything through these. Nothing at all. I knew that, but... Alright, I think we're almost there now. It's a good half hour deal, but I was... Once I start getting too much hair, I can't sleep on it. It annoys me. It's so much easier when there's a, a flat head to sleep on it. Take a nice shower and I'll feel like a million dollars. I feel like I'm rebuilt. You can see all that white crap's all going now. See, it's all that. Got rid of all that. I can put a million pounds of anti dandruff shampoo. Nothing's gonna do this. I wanna shoot my eyebrows next. Those things are starting to get more gray now here. So like I said, I'll be 56, which is pretty cool. Good year. Learned a lot of fun stuff. Sold a lot of stuff. Always learning. That's what... So when you get older, that's, your, that's the key. Have stuff to do to learn. So into learning now. It's craziness. And I've been... Clean and sober since 2011. No issues with that at all. Mental health has been pretty good. Just take some basic mental health medicine, nothing special. I go to bed at 5 o'clock at night. I got a nice sleep medicine, my Remeron. Get you right to sleep, and then you get up and you're feeling pretty good. I used to use Trazodone, but that gives you really weird dreams. Although Remeron, Remeron gives you a lot of cool, really cool dreams. Because I dream like black and in color. It's vivid. I can remember it all, so it's pretty cool. I did see some new tech coming out for um, REM sleep. Lucid, lucid dreaming and all that. Really into that. Halo. I said something about a halo. Using AI to help you get into lucid dreaming. So that will, I'll check in too. So things like that are really gonna come around. Going into your subconscious. Because maybe we're all living in a um, virtual world. We're just Sims, really. That kind of makes sense to me. I've always thought that. I don't know why. Somebody's like overseeing our whole existence. But like I said, if it was my sin, gone. I'm done with this. If I have to look at the news one more time. Oh, what's going on? It's terrible. What a terrible, terrible world we live in. Just in general, like human nature is just horrible. I'm trying to be a good person. We all make mistakes, we all do wrong things, but man, this is just beautiful. That spot there. So I was going to wait until the election, but we'll do this every few months. The election should be interesting. Something like the going to happen there too. That's going to be not your normal presidential election, but the news. Get rid of all that junk that was on my head. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm looking forward to enjoying the summer. And I just pretty much I'm home based is what I am. So I've been home based for, for many years now. And especially during COVID, being home based was the best thing ever. 
I was so busy then. I had everything I needed right in front of me. I didn't have to go anywhere. It's still like that too. I really built up my home base now. That's why he's alive. Yeah, because working from home, working for yourself. Been doing that since 2015, probably. And I've really learned how to do it now. Found the stuff that will sell. I'm using YouTube now to help me sell some better. YouTube is basically just a mirror. It helps reflect back to my store. I don't make any money on YouTube. Or my TikTok, that's the same. Same videos, I just put them here and there, just for the fun of it. And then watches, that's cool. I think we're about done from here. Yeah, to me this is like, in my ears. Try to get in there and get all those ears out. So the last thing you want to do is see somebody with hair sticking out of their ears. Just, I'm not really into looks, but that I don't want. Here on my ear, on my nose. Here, sticking out right there. Yeah. Buzzing my nose. Alright, so. Now I'm gonna check back in now. Uh, actually, be in this, be almost into summer then. Yeah, I'm only about a half hour into. It's about not, yeah, I still go that nice this day. So I just couldn't imagine having long hair. But and for most people it's normal, but for me I just, I just don't get it. But it's, you know, we gotta have, I fix my eyebrows a little bit here. So I've got a little vanity in me, but just trying to get off those parts that are sticking out. So imagine how much it would cost to get someone to do this for me. I almost got down where there's no eyebrows. Because it's all going to turn gray anywho, so I might as well just get rid of it. This one's really short now, which is awesome. This one, this one's harder for some reason. I don't know why that is. I'm just going to get this side to go the way I want. Like this side. Get down. Okay. Now, that is, I just need that side. That's what I want it to go. This side just a little bit more bushy in here. I'm gonna get my hair in there. Even your eyebrows get all that dandruff crap on them. I can't put all that stuff I got on in there. And now I'll take a shower. I use that tea tree shampoo. So I've always used it. It's like outstanding. So that makes you feel like a million dollars when you put that stuff on. Especially after shaving. I put that on my face and my head. That stuff's awesome. So you do that. Oops. That's the new school. You don't want things to get on your eyebrows. My nose and my eyebrows, I can't do it. Summer. Let's see what the summer brings. Yeah, see all that stuff I got rid of that, all that stuff. Pretty cool. Alright, let's see. Uh, a month or so. Alright. 